Hi, Sarah. How are you today? Hi, Olivia. I'm good, thank you. How about you? I'm doing all right, thanks. Did you have a busy morning? Oh, yes, it was quite busy. Lots of emails to respond to and reports to finish. I know what you mean. I had a pile of paperwork waiting for me, too. It seems like there's always more paperwork to do, isn't there? Absolutely. Sometimes I feel like I'm drowning in it. Tell me about it. But hey, at least it keeps us busy, right? That's one way to look at it, I suppose. But sometimes I feel like quitting my job. Sometimes my manager is too bossy. Well, I know what you mean. I guess I got lucky because my manager is a really nice person. She always comes in the morning to say hi to everyone and have a little chat before work begins. But some people don't like her. I can tell you that nobody likes my manager. What to do, right? We just need to ignore these people. That's right. By the way, have you had a chance to meet the new guy in accounting? Not yet. Is he any good? Seems like it. He's been pretty efficient with his work so far. And he is kind of cute. So you hoping to go on a date with him? Let's see if he makes the move. I met him in the printing area and welcomed him to the company. He seems friendly. You should have asked him out. It's too early. He just arrived in the company. Changing the subject. It seems that the weather is going to be sunny for the weekend. What are you planning to do? I guess I'll stay home and clean the house. That sounds a bit boring. Why don't you come with us to the amusement park? Dominic wants to take the kids to the amusement park. Thanks for the invite, but I'm okay. I really need to do my laundry. And the technician is supposed to come on Saturday to fix my washing machine. Well, I understand. But if you change your mind, let me know. Do you have any plans for this Friday evening? I don't think so. The people from the marketing department are planning to go for happy hour. There is a new rooftop bar that just opened opposite our office building. I've heard about that, but I still need to get my kids from school and Kevin has carrot class and Julie has ballet. Maybe I'll go. You should. Maybe you'll find the new accounting guy there. What's his name, by the way? It's Daryl. Do you want to get some coffee before we get back to work? Sure. Why not? Good afternoon. What can I get for you? I'd like to have an Americano, and for you. I'd like to have a cappuccino, please. All right, that will be $8.95 plus tip. Oh, don't worry about it. I got this one. That's so nice of you. Thank you. Did you see the tipping amount? I did. The minimum was 15%, and that's a lot. I'm surprised I didn't see any options for custom tipping amounts or choosing not to tip. Next coffee is on me then. If tipping keeps increasing like this, we're going to have coffee from the office. But that coffee tastes horrible. In my last job, the coffee was awful, and there was no coffee shop nearby. So I used to bring my own coffee to brew at the office. Maybe we should get those individual coffee bags. That's not a bad idea. Here is your Americano and cappuccino. Thank you. Hey, Daryl, taking a break from work? Oh, yeah. I needed a good cup of coffee, but this one doesn't really taste nice. Where did you get this one? There is a coffee shop just around the corner. Wow, that's good to know. I don't think I can continue to drink this coffee. You might need to get used to it because the tipping amount at that place is going through the roof. Daryl, your accent sounds a bit different. Where are you from? I'm from Cape Town in South Africa. 
Wow, that's nice. I wish you all the best in your new journey here. I need to return to work now before my manager notices my absence. Thanks for the coffee. You're welcome. Don't you need to get back to work as well? I have plenty of free time. I don't have much work to do anyway. Has anyone seen Olivia? She is at the coffee shop. Thank you, Gabrielle. So when did you move in here? Last year. All right, not too long ago. The company that my wife works for opened a branch here, so we needed to come. Are you married? Yep. Next month is our seventh anniversary. That's nice. I think I need to go back to work. I have so much paperwork to do. All right. Have a great day. You too. Are you done talking to him? Yes, you're not going to believe what I found out. Tell me. Guess why he moved to the States. I have no idea. Just tell me once and for all. His wife got a job here, so he needed to come along. Well, that's good for him, though. I guess so, right? Next month is their seventh wedding anniversary. That's good for them. Don't worry, honey. There are plenty of fish in the sea. All right, everyone. As you can see, there is an empty chair in this room. Olivia is not around, but we need to start this meeting without her. Where have you guys been? Did you forget about the meeting at 2.30? I totally forgot about that. Maybe you should spend less time at the coffee shop and spend more time in the company. Be careful with your choice of words. I might not be as nice as you think. Robert asked me to tell you that he is waiting for you in his office. Please, come on in. Have a seat, please. Olivia, today I was looking all over the place for you. And somebody told me you were at the coffee shop. I really don't mind if you go out to get yourself a cup of coffee. But we had a meeting scheduled at 2.30 that you did not attend. I'm so sorry. I really don't know what happened. I guess I just lost track of time. Everybody has the right to have a bad day, but not attending a meeting is something serious. Because you are one of my best employees, I'll let this one go. Thank you, Robert. I've sent you an email with the meeting's presentation. Have a look and give me your input by the end of the day. Yes, sir.